Hello all, this is Razorflame Kun, and in this episode of the Oblivion Let's Play, I'm going to be doing something that I've been neglecting to do for quite a while, and that is, excuse me, level up my leveling up my character. So let's see. I'm going to go and check out his skills <coughs> right now. Uh, wrong tab. This tab, and then this one. <coughs> so. Um, I'm going to be working on restoration and alteration and alchemy. I'm going to be working on those those three. I'm going to show you great ways to level up all three of them. To begin with, I'm going to show you a great way to level up the restoration skill. As I said before, restoration is the hardest skill to level up. So what you want to do first is get a cheap spell like this and then equip it and then actually I'm going to, I'm going to show you an even faster way and that way re revolves around going to here Frost Craig Spire which is another downloadable content it's basically a house however it has two things in it that we won't that we won't n normally be able to get for a long time and that's why I'm actually going to go up here right now because I want to be able to make my own spell really quick. I'll explain how to make spells while I'm going up here. Basically, you're given when you get into the yes I know that um, when you get into here it needs a key which you already have so you just go on in and then right here you Notice the dusty tome. What you want to do is you want to read it, and you have to purchase stuff in order to be able to restore it to its former glory. From Or Orelin Way at the Mister in the Market City. That's what we're going to do right now. I believe this pretty expensive though. Come on, this is supposed to open up. Aha, I have to wait for all of these. And then it opens up, and I don't believe that I have either of the things that I wanted, because I don't have the candles, I don't think. And crap, I think those candles are pretty expensive. Oh. Yep, I knew it those I think are really expensive so we're gonna go to the mar market district in the mark in the city and we will be seeing how much those are so that we know how to how much how much gold we need to make in order to buy them so I'm gonna hold off on alteration and the other and uh, restoration until I'm able to get them so for right, but for right now, we're gonna go over here. Where's that red indicator? Over here. You have my ears, we're gonna go over here and pick up some of these mushrooms. These have a fairly low chance of gaining, like all mushrooms do. I think they only have 50% success rate, but there's a bunch of them, and they're fairly, they're fairly common. They're not too too common, but they're not too rare. Anyways, we're gonna go along here. Then we're going to go south. All right, then we're going to go this way. And here's Mystic Emporium right here. So we're going to go inside. This loading screen right here is only available if you have the Oblivion card coll card collection available. Welcome so to the let's Mystic go Emporium. here. Oh, he has I spells the too. Goods and lowest prices in all so uh, So... This is how you buy spells. I explained this briefly in a different video. However, there are other there are other people who sell spells to you, and I'll I'm not going to show all of them, but I'll just just take my word for it that there are. This guy's mercantile skill is journeyman. Basically, what the bar bartering is is the if if your opponents or the person who you're um who you're um, haggling with has a higher mercantile skill, that means you'll be less likely to go up uh, haggle more until your mercantile skill is higher. I'm going to go that much because I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything 
higher than that. I'm also going to try and get this. Yes, I got it. That's going to be a very helpful spell for right now. And yes, I know I spent gold that where you need, but I really I need to get the that. Finest goods and lowest prices in all We're going to ignore all these scrolls, which I'll explain later. And holy crap, he's selling Welkin stones. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, what we want to do is... I know... Uh, and again, if you have a mercantile skill of less than 75, I think it is, you, you have to go to the certain shops in order to be able to yes. sell, sell st certain items. Like, for example... Only quality oh, she has some there. spells too, and really high-level ones it? too. Um, what I was saying is, um, for example, in order May to sell I armor to and weapons, you have to go to the armor, this, this smith, the blacksmith in this, in the city, like, um, the fire and steel shop in Coral. You have to sell armor and weapons to her. Anyways, when you go here, she sells potions and a whole bunch of stuff here she also is a novice of mercantile so you can easily go probably go up i'm probably going to be able to go up to like that much right off the bat which will lower this the cost of some of these and here we are here's the some of the things here's the thing i want to get and yeah i figured it was it going to be expensive okay so that's how much we have to buy we have to get in order to buy it so let's see Yep, we do have some. I did make some. So we're going to go ahead and, and start selling the stuff that we got for some decent money. As you can see, these sell for a decent amount. The higher your alchemy level goes, the um, better the pot better potions you make and the more they'll sell for. That's why you should always make potions. This is the easiest way to make money in the game. That's a good deal. And, it, and I mean that when, it, when I say that. Also, if you want to get your mercantile skill up quickly, deal. what you want to do is just sell them one at a time. That way you get the most for your for your items that you're selling. Anyways, I'm gonna... This is part of a mod that I made, and I'm just gonna sell it for right now, because it's That's worth a, a lot. Deal. I'm also gonna go through and see if there are any others from that Yep, there are four of these from that mod that I'm gonna I'm gonna sell these as well, and I'm selling one at a time to get my mercantile skill up. That's the best way to get your mercantile skill up is to just do that. This is also from mod that I made, but I'm gonna keep it because it doesn't sell for much. And this is also from a mod I made, but there's too many of them to sell them one at a time, so I'm not gonna do that. Customer. Here's another one, and there's another one, but I'm also not going to do it there. And here's some more. And when I say do it there, I mean do the sell one at a time thing. Anyways, I'm going to sell these one at a time, and we should get a decent amount. I'm not going to sell this, even though it sells for a lot, because I like collecting them. the um, skill books.